Hello everybody, welcome back to Total Aviation. If you're new around here, make sure to click that subscribe button. I do add-on reviews, full flight videos, and much, much more. In this video, I'll be showing you the development update, 27th of August. This was released one hour ago, so here we go. So, on Tuesday at Gamescom, which is held yearly, we have announced four major updates coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator later this fall. On September the 7th we are releasing the World Update 6, which I did a video on that. We are introducing a new payware series called Local Legends that celebrate the region of current World Update. For World Update 6, we selected German Junkers, JU52, which will be released September the 9th. So this is the aircraft coming. Local Legends. Look at that. Definitely, definitely done. This kind of re reminds me of the PMDG TC six. Looks like a handful to fly. Just look at that. That aircraft is getting released September the 9th. Can't wait for it. For later this fall, we have announced the first major expansion to the sim, featuring the Renault Air Races, which includes competitive multiplayer and more. Finally, we have personally a new aircraft or the Volo City. Which will be released soon. So we're gonna have a look at the velocity or the helicopter. Can't wait for this. I love this. That looks really good. Sky is calling, coming soon, can't wait for that. Now the air races, you can watch that in my previous video, can't wait for all of that. It's going to be so exciting, it's going to be a full action packed month. So development roadmap, we are currently working on the updated development roadmap, which we'll share in the next week dev update. Mm. Right, feedback snapshot, so this is top wishes. Implant weather and terrain APIs, Chinese localization, helicopters are a must, definitely. Multiple screens functionality, it started 2021 2022, which is understandable. Replay functionality missing, started 2021. Hopefully, around Christmas time, I really hope. Improve AI traffic at airports and in the air, started. Glider, sailplane, and soaring, please. Top bugs now this is a good one crash to desktop without error message yep that is a big problem night lighting yeah, yeah that is a problem live weather and wind readings well live weather has the problems really atc incorrect physiology yeah that does need fixed autogen airports too dark aircraft flight do not go that's really understandable that one marketplace updates we are currently working on our next batch of updates so here they are, update on PC8, so we've got the Skylane, MB339, the Model 61 Longies, PA28R, and the Tango, S Seattle Landmark, two airports, update on Xbox Zero, none, that is a bit of a, hmm, new on Xbox, so MB339, okay, yeah, Barcelona Airport. Now that is an airport. There'll be a review on that coming soon. 12 updated products, 11 on PC and 1 on Xbox. So we have the Hong Kong 
City Times available on PC, not Xbox. Las Vegas Airport City Bundle available on PC and not Xbox. L Elizabeth Field Airport available on PC, not Xbox. 10 new products, 2 on PC, 8 on Xbox. Las Vegas Airport City Bundle already on PC, nope. Xbox nope, I believe that's been taking off or going on. The community, now this is a story that you have to read. The teams at Microsoft and also we were very touched to read a story from Reddit user Muka a few months ago. She posted it in the Microsoft Flight Simulator subreddit that her father, a pilot that was terminally ill, was no longer medically cleared to fly. Didn't know much about flight simming, so she asked for help from the community to get her dad set up with everything he needed for virtual flying. Many members of the subreddit provided tech advice and some even generously offered to donate hardware. Thanks to the support of the community, he was able to enjoy the thrill of flight or flight once again. <clears throat> Last week, Muga Attacks posted an update that her father sadly passed on July the 14th. We offer Muka attacks our most sincere condolences for a loss from the team at Azorbo and Microsoft Flight Simulator and Total Aviation. It heartens us to hear that our simulator was able to bring someone peace and comfort and joy during their final days. I will leave the subreddit down below. I really think you should look into this story. It really touched me. We stream weekly on Twitch or on a Friday community video for about seven months during 1963, John F. Kennedy and Lester. Not all they had in common, both world leaders have an airport, some of the country's largest city name after them. A legendary aircraft designer, but Rutan created the plane model 202 Boomerang, twin engine plane featuring forward swept wings. Only one was ever built. But now anyone can fly this unique design in Microsoft Flight Simulator thanks to Tech Notch. You can download the freeware, you can get it on flightsim.to. Screenshots from the community, amazing that is, absolutely wonderful. This development update is amazing, it covers everything you need to know about the up upcoming weeks and upcoming months. Of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope you have enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to subscribe, like and share. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. All the links will be in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.